Hi there music fans and hi there Shadows fans and welcome to another uh, Shadows related video and today I'd like to give you 10 absolutely cracking songs that Hank Marvin wrote for Cliff Richard. Absolutely love these tracks and um, some of them are very underrated um, and um, so it was, it was hard for me to put um, uh, 10 into a top 10. I couldn't decide which order to put them in so I'm just going to give you my top 10 rather than do 10 to 1. But um, out of the 10 I, that I did pick, I know which one I'd have at number one. So I'm going to give you that one first, which is Throw Down the Line. Absolutely fantastic track that um, Hank wrote originally for Jimi Hendrix. And he couldn't get to Jimi Hendrix, but uh, Jeff Beck recorded it with um, uh, Rod Stewart on lead vocals. Absolutely fantastic version you'll find on Spotify as well at that. Um, but I absolutely love the Cliff and Hank version. And it's actually considered... Uh, Cliff's first ever duet. If that ever comes up in a, in a title quiz or whatever, what was Cliff Richard's first ever duet? It was in 1980s, uh, suddenly with Olivia Newton-John, as most people would think. It was actually Throw Down the Line with Hank Marvin because it's considered a duet. Absolutely fantastic track. The next one I have is another fantastic underrated track that Hank wrote called Silvery Rain. And I remember in an interview with Hank, he actually said that he was at an airport in the early 70s um, and he had a couple of hours to kill and he picked up this book in a bookshop and it was all about um, pollution and um, crop dusting and um, insects being killed by all this um, crop dusting and um, inspired him to write this song. He didn't actually buy the book but on the fly he actually inspired him to write this song and Cliff recorded it an absolutely beautiful uh, version clip did and Brian Bennett done the orchestration as I said in the previous poll absolutely beautiful or or orchestration on, on um, Silvery Ray beautiful song Hank did actually record it himself I think with Marvin Welch and Farrer and Olivia Newton-John also recorded it absolutely fantastic track and um, the next one I have is You Never Can Tell which is a great track that Cliff has a, a, as a B-side absolutely love the track and um, yeah, he recorded that one himself, as I think Hank did as well, with um, Marvin Welch and Fire. Just a, a very underrated track you should check out as well. All these tracks, by the way, are on Spotify, every single one of them. So anything I mention here, you'll be able to check them out on Spotify. I'm sure they're on iTunes as well. Um, the next one I have was a big hit for Cliff. And Cliff actually said in the boldest brass tour that, um, uh, that himself and the Shadows never actually broke up. Um, the Shadows kind of disbanded in the late 60s. But um, he said the first track that he ever recorded without the Shadows in the studio was The Day I Met Marie. Absolutely beautiful song. Every, I think most Cliff fans absolutely love that track. And Cliff always rated it as his favourite single until he started making them absolutely amazing albums from 76 onwards. But if you hear Cliff talking in an interview before 1976, he'll always say that is his favourite recording of all the recordings he did today I Met Marie. So the next one I have is considered another duet with Hank and it's called Joy and Living. Absolutely fantastic track. Um, yeah, um, it's about... Um, it's another one about pollution, I think, as well, and about um, building motorways in, instead of houses. <laughs> Absolutely fun. It's kind of a, a sarcasm track. And Cliff actually used this song um, to open his TV show. It was, it's pretty much a theme tune to one of his early, early 70s uh, TV shows. Uh, Joy Live, an absolutely fantastic track. The next one I absolutely love. And it's called London's Not Too Far. And the first time I heard it was part of that Hank's medley that Cliff did on the Live at the Talk of the Town uh, album. And uh, it's just a fantastic live album. I absolutely love that album. And um, he did this track as Hank's medley. He did three songs written by Hank. And w one of them was called London's Not Too Far. It's an absolutely beautiful song with a little twist at the end. If you haven't heard the song, check it out. I won't ruin the twist at the end. But it's a beautiful song. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty, much, I'm pretty sure that Hank recorded that as well with Marvin Welch and Fair, uh, as he did with the next one as well, which was also included in that uh, Hank's medley. And it's the, the, the Dreams I Dream, which was featured on the established 58 album with the Cliff in the Shallows. Um, the last uh, studio album before the breakup of the Shadows. Um, absolutely incredible song written by Hank, The Dreams I Dream. Absolutely love it. Now, Hank 
I, I didn't really include in this uh, 10 uh, songs that he wrote with the rest of the shadows, such as In the Country, On the Beach, uh, I Can Easily Fall In Love. They're all absolutely fantastic tracks. I was trying to concentrate on songs that he wrote on his own. And he wrote this B-side. I think it was the B-side that On My Word. And I actually think it's better than the A-side. And it's a track called Just A Little Bit Too Late. Typical kind of clip in the shadow sound from the 60s. Absolutely incredible record. I absolutely love it. Um, the next one I want to do before I give you my last one um, is a track they did, the Shadows did in the late 70s, which I just want to give a, a shout out to it. Um, it was featured on Cliff's album produced by Bruce Welch, the Heavy Face Down the Story album, and it's It'll Be Me Babe. The Shadows did a fantastic version as well, and I have to mention that song. It was written by Hank and Bruce and Brian, and um, absolutely incredible song, It'll Be Me Babe. And the last one, I can't leave out, Gee Whiz It's You. Absolutely classic rock and roll track, um, which was on uh, the 1960 Me and My Shadows album, which is one of my favourite Clip in the Shadows albums. Um, absolutely incredible album, uh, pure British rock and roll album. Absolutely love it. Uh, so I couldn't leave that one out. It was actually released as a single. I don't think it was intended to be a single, but when it was on the album, it was such um, a demand by the fans that it actually got released as a single, a kind of import single. And it got number four in the charts. Absolutely fantastic track. The clip still performs every now and again on tour. Absolutely. I mean, he performed it at the the sing-along um, signing he did that I went to in 2018. And he said that the, the track was pretty much ripped off um, Buddy Holly's um, Peggy Sue. And he kind of sang the two of the two songs together, G Wins It's You and Peggy Sue. And he, he was saying that um, Cliff and the Shadows used to rip off all these great rock and roll, but they got away with it. Um, absolutely incredible song, G Wins It's You. So that's my 10 um, Hank Marvin classic songs that he wrote for Cliff. Um, I'm, just, I'm probably finished to upload this video and realise I left out one or two. Um, I'll mention in the section below if I did, if I do actually remember. But um, I, I, give, I just want to give a shout out to them 10 songs. I'll give them to you real quick again. Silvery Rain, Throw Down the Line, You Never Can Tell, Day I Met Marie, Joy of Living, London's Not Too Far, The Dreams I Dream, Just a Little Bit Too Late, It'll Be Me Babe, and Gee Whiz It's You. So just for fun, I want to do another Hank related video. So here we are. And anyway, if you want to subscribe, please click that button. You'll get my videos instantly when you go on to YouTube. If you want to press the bell as well. And um, if you have any comments, leave them in the section below. Thank you and bye.